Motor Week is made possible by Lucas Oil, TireRack.com, and RockAuto.com. But Craig Singhaas, he just goes wherever that old high road will take him. And this time it's taken him pretty far. The future has arrived. The computer and microchip have changed the face of travel forever. But for most of us, the future of travel is a bit more down to earth. It's always fun to take a look at prototype cars that are due out a year or two down the road. But the folks at Pontiac have offered us a rare chance to look at a car that we all may be driving in the year 2000. Engineers at GM's Milford, Michigan Proving Grounds are developing the Pontiac Pursuit. While it might look like George Jetson's family flyer, it's actually a rolling test bed for experimental technologies that might soon be standard features on your car. For instance, its four-wheel steering is connected to the steering wheel by computer, not by mechanical steering linkage. It's called drive-by wire, and the controls are more reminiscent of an F-16 fighter plane than a Pontiac. The steering wheel turns only 180 degrees from lock to lock, so it is overly sensitive. And the pursuit's total lack of road feel makes it very difficult to negotiate even a simple slalom course. You're never really sure where the wheels are pointed. GM engineers are trying to create simulated steering feedback. They hope that will make drive-by-wire systems easier for the average driver to master. Pursuit interior confines are highlighted by form-fitting bucket seats with an attached four-point safety belt that moves with the seat. In back, there's a built-in baby seat and even miniature TVs for rear seat riders. In the dash area, the Pursuit's onboard computer is what we'd expect from a leading edge prototype. The central processing unit maintains and controls several basic necessities for the 21st century driver, such as the system's check indicator, graphically displayed tachometer, odometer, and temperature, both inside and out. But only a thumb's touch away is the Pursuit's integrated guidance system. It's probably years away from production, even though the technology exists today. This handy option will communicate with orbiting satellites to brief the driver on weather, direction, and location using electronic maps. But don't look for this sort of package on cars for at least 10 or 15 years. Okay, so the future's not here yet. Concepts such as satellite navigation and drive-by-wire steering aren't quite down to earth, but the pursuit is a calculated technical stretch to pull the future just a bit closer. 